The main difference between this car and a standard XC90 is that this is the first autonomous vehicle within a DriveMe program. This vehicle is equipped with additional sensors, a LiDAR in the front, additional cameras around, and an autonomous driving brain. With this car, we can collect data and it will be a stepping stone towards the full autonomous vehicles that we design. We have to study with normal everyday drivers because we as engineers, we test the technology. We, we find out if it's working according to specifications. But it's not really about the technology. It's about how ordinary people use a self-driving car in daily life. About how people drive their kids to school, to their work. And we want to learn how they would use the time that we free up. When they don't have to drive, they can spend the time on something else. Exactly what? We don't know, but we will find out. In the front of the vehicle, we have several sensors. Behind the windscreen, you can see a radar and a camera, an additional camera here in the logo, and a LiDAR, a laser sensor in the lower grille. With these sensors, we can really cover what's happening in front of the vehicle, detecting anything that may be in its path. It's also important to have side detection. In the rear mirror, we have two cameras, one looking down to detect lane markers, but road edges, and one looking rearward, in which we can detect cars or motorcyclists coming from the rear. You can imagine that all these sensors create a huge amount of data. This data is being collected in the autonomous driving brain, a very powerful computer that can make decisions on how to brake, steer and accelerate the vehicle in a safe and comfortable way. Well, this is DriveMe car number one and there are many more to come.